Shalawam. I'm Brother Kodash from One Nation, One Power out here in Northern Arizona. And I want to give all honor and glory to the Most High Ahaya, Bahashim Yeshaya, Rawak Kodash. Okay, and I'm coming to you tonight, to you tonight. And I want to motivate you. I want to encourage you to serve the Most High more and more each and every day. Draw closer to Him. Okay, but I'm coming to you tonight to show you what God I serve. Okay, what God I serve. Okay, because a lot of people put the most high in a box. Okay, they put the most high in a box sometimes. And I don't know whether what people tend to do that on, you know, on purpose or tend to do that and, you know, accidentally. But we have a, a mighty God. We have a powerful God, okay, a God that has um, shown miracles, signs, and wonders. And I think that we tend to forget that as we, uh, our knowledge increases more and more each day. So I want to put in remembrance what God we serve, okay, and how God could help you in your walk, all right? So, <clears throat> the foundation of scripture we're going to go to today, all right? Everybody go, to, go with me, all right? Let's go to 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, all right? 1 Corinthians chapter 1. And we're going to go straight to verse 26. All right. <clears throat> and it reads, For we see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men are after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. Okay, this is speaking to people that are called by the Most High. All right? Speaking not many mighty, not many noble, smart, intelligent. Okay? Verse 27. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. So God, he has cho chosen basically the black sheep of the family to confound the wise, all right? He has chosen them to bring forth his word, all right? Let's keep reading. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the mighty, to confound the things that are mighty, excuse me. Verse 28, and base things of the world and things which are despised, has God chosen, yea, and things which are not, to bring to nothing things that are. Verse 26, 29, that no flesh shall glory in his presence, that no flesh shall glory in his presence. All right? So the Most High, he is not raising up your... Um, your uh, professor, your, uh, your your pastor that went to college for five to ten years. He is not raising up those particular people, okay? He's raising up the people that you never thought that would make it, that you never thought that, will, that they would do something with their lives, okay? That's who he's raising up, okay? And the key verse here is 29, that no flesh shall glory in his presence, meaning that nobody is going to boast in their self by doing God's work. Because God cho chooses who he uses and chooses who he doesn't use. All right. A lot of brothers and sisters out there, they don't know. 
if they're doing it in God's strength or in their own. They can't uh, comprehend that aspect yet. But uh, those that are doing it in God's strength, you can see the fruit in their in their walk. Okay, but today I'm going to show you that the prophets did not do it on their own strength, but they did it on God's strength. You hearing me? Okay, so the Most High has chosen the scum of the earth to bring forth his word. Okay, so I'm going to be talking to somebody that made me think that they're the scum of the earth. That they were the scum of the earth. But now they're in this walk. So the Most High has raised you up. Okay. My. What I would say to you is. Keep walking forward. Keep walking. You know. Because me personally. I ain't the smartest man in the world. But. Once the Holy Spirit comes upon me then I could speak for God and speak to people and encourage people and bring forth his word. I cannot do it without the spirit of God on me or in me, okay? So let's go to, um, let's go to Proverbs 27 and two. Proverbs 27 and two. Proverbs 27 and two. Okay, remember that Romans said, no flesh shall glory in his presence, right? So Proverbs 27, excuse me, 27 and 2. Let's read that. Proverbs 27 and 2, it reads, Let another man praise thee, and not thy own mouth. A stranger, and not thy own lips. All right, so the Bible is telling us, don't ever praise yourself because it's not you. It was never you in the first place. It's God. The only people that should, should be praising you is another brother or sister saying, good job, brother, you know? But know that it's not you. It, it isn't, you were just picked to bring forth his word, okay? So, you know, just chew on that for a little bit, okay? The, in Rome, in, in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 1 and verse 25, it says that no flesh shall glory in his presence. So we're not to glory in his presence. All right. This is not me that's doing it. It's him. All right. So now let's go to Exodus chapter 4. Exodus chapter 4. Exodus chapter 4. And we're going to start at verse 10. Okay, and we're going to use the, the prophet Moses, for example. Okay, because there might be some brothers and sisters out there that have been chosen. And they're not doing nothing with God's word. So I hope that this encourages you to do something with his word. All right. Okay, this is uh, Exodus chapter 4 and verse 10. And Moses said unto the, unto the Lord... Oh, my Lord, I am not eloquent. He said, oh, Lord, I'm not eloquent. All right. Let me just get that real quick. The definition of eloquent. Fervent or uh, persuasive in speaking or writing. All right. So Moses, he was not, um, you know, he couldn't bring forth those words that, uh, would encourage people or you know he didn't like to speak in public he didn't like to you know uh he was an he wasn't an out outgoing person but god chose him anyway okay and moses is telling him i'm not eloquent why are you choosing me right verse i'm gonna keep going i'm gonna keep i'm gonna start at verse 10 again it says and moses said unto the lord my oh my lord i am not eloquent neither heretofore, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant, but I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue. Okay, 
So Moses is, you know, he may, he may be giving excuses, but he's probably telling the truth. Okay, remember, the Most High, he picks the, you know, foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Okay, so you might be one of those people that may think that, oh man, I'm, I'm dumb as a rock, you know? Uh, I can't I can't speak God's word. You know, I have to go to school. I have to go get a college education. No, you don't, brothers and sisters. No, you don't. Okay? Because we're just going to keep reading what God does in Moses' life. All right? Let's keep going. Let's go to Exodus chapter 4 and verse 11. And the Lord said unto him, Who has made men's mouth? So the Most High is asking Moses a question. Who has made uh, um, men's mouth, Moses? Right? Or who maketh the dumb or deaf or the seen or the blind? Have not I the Lord? So the Most High is telling them, like, who, who, who's made all things? Who has made the blind? Who has made the deaf? Okay, who has made men's mouth? He did. The most high did, of course. Okay. Alright. Let's keep uh let's keep reading. Verse 12. Now therefore go, and I will be with thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shalt say. So the most high is telling him, he's saying, Hey, I'm going to be with you. I'm going to give you the words to speak to Pharaoh, to the Egyptians, to everybody that's coming against you. I'm going to be I'm going to give you the words to speak to the children of Israel because why? Because they're a stiff-necked people. Okay? And to a carnal uh, person, that would sound insane. That would sound, you know, um, you know, that would that would be hard to believe. But this is the God I serve. You hearing me? This is the God that I personally serve. Because I know I would not be able to be on this camera and speak to you and give you guys the word of encouragement. And use this word as encouragement in your walk. I want to be able to do that without the spirit of God in my life. Okay, that's why I ask every day for a fresh anointing. This is why I ask every day for the Holy Spirit. Because if I don't have the Holy Spirit, then I want to be able to be on this video speaking to you. I want to be able to bring forth uh, encouraging messages to, to bring to you. I would not be able to do that. I would be empty inside. But this is what God does, okay? He creates in you a new spirit and he uses you as a vessel for his glory, okay? And he uses your testimony to help others because people will know you and be like, wasn't that that guy that drunk that used to drink all the time or smoke weed or do all kinds of, you know, uh, wickedness? Isn't it that guy? And but people are gonna look at you and be like, dang, that guy has changed, right? That's the God I serve. That is the God that brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, okay? He told Moses, Moses, don't, didn't, who created the mouth? I did. So I can put the words in your mouth to speak to your to your people. All right, let's keep reading. Let's go to verse uh, verse thirteen, and he said, "O oh my Lord, send, I pray thee, by the hand of whom him whom thou wilt send." So Moses is he's in disbelief. Okay, like a lot of people would be, you know. He's in disbelief and he's just like, you know what? I, I know that you're telling me this, but you know, send somebody to help me. 
Send somebody, Lord. Please. He's begging the Most High. Verse 14. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses. And he said, Is not Aaron the Levite thy brother? So by Moses acting like, you know, being scared and not being able to uh, be the man that the Most High wants him to be, the Most High's anger was kindled. Okay, and this goes for our own walk. Okay, if the Most High puts a word in your mouth, you need to bring it forth. Because the anger of the Most High will be kindled against you. If he puts something in your spirit, you should be able to go out there and speak forth his words. Okay, these are, um, this is the oil that he's giving you. This is the anointing that he's giving you. So you can bring forth his words. <clears throat> so the Most High is like, isn't Aaron the Levite thy brother? Let me keep reading. It says, I know that he can speak well. So Most High, I know he can speak well. All right. Okay. And also, behold, he cometh forth to meet thee. And when he seeth thee, he will be glad in heart. Okay. So right now, Moses is in the land uh, with uh, Jericho, or not Jericho, with Jethro and Zipporah, his wife. He's in that land, okay? And he's, the Most High is telling him, I'm gonna send Aaron to you, all right? And Aaron is in Egypt right now. So how did he send Aaron to Moses? He must have brought forth the word to, to Aaron in the middle of the night, I don't know. But that's the God I serve, you know? He does these miracles. He, he, he does talk to people. That's the God I serve. All right. Now let's keep reading. Verse 15. And thou shalt speak unto him and put, put my words in his mouth. So the Most High is saying, you know, I'm going to speak to you. And then you go speak to Aaron. And I'm going to put, and then you're going to put my words in his mouth. All right. And I will be with thy mouth and with his mouth and will teach you what ye shall do. Okay, so Most High was like, you know what? I'm just going to get Aaron and have you guys together and you're going to guys both bring forth my word. Okay, I'm going to use both of you since you couldn't do it on your own. Okay, Moses was scared. Okay, a lot of people don't know that. But Moses, you know, he did fulfill the work that he was uh, supposed to do. Okay, but he did, but he didn't make it to the promised land. All right, I'm gonna keep reading. Verse 16, and he shall be thy spokesman unto the people. Okay, so the Most High said, you know, Aaron's gonna be your spokesman. He's the one that's gonna speak for you to the people. Since you can't do it, I'm gonna have him doing it. You see how the Most High works? If you ain't doing it, he's going to ch choose the next person to do it. You hearing me? If you can't do it, he's going to be like, okay, I'm going to send my spirit elsewhere. Okay? Not saying that he wasn't dealing with Moses, but I'm just saying nowadays, if you're not just sitting there not doing diddly squat and the Most High gives you a word to do, He's going to give it to the next person. Okay. This is what he's doing. All right. Verse. Let's keep going. And he shall be. Even he shall be to thee. Instead of thy mouth. So he said. Hey. Moses. Aaron's going to be your mouth. Just tell Aaron what to say. And he'll tell the. You know. I'm going to tell you. You tell Aaron. And that's how it's going to go. And thou shalt be to him instead of God. Okay, so the Most High was telling Moses what to say. So Moses is telling Aaron what to say. Okay, so Moses was like playing God. Okay, not saying he, he was God, but he was using, he was, the Most High was talking to Moses and, you know, Moses was giving the word to Aaron what to say. 
All right. Verse 17. And thou shalt take his rod in thy hand, wherewith thou shalt do signs. Okay, so Aaron was the one that was doing, you know, all the signs with the rod. Okay. And, uh, you know, this is the God I serve. You know, the Most High could put a word in your mouth. You know, and he can he can talk for you. He can bring forth those words in your mouth. You know, well, let me give you another example. I'm gonna go to Ezekiel, not Ezekiel. I'm gonna go to Isaiah, I believe. No, Ezekiel, Ezekiel. I'm gonna go to Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter three. In verse, I'm going to start at verse 25. And it says, But thou, o son of man, behold, they shall put bands upon thee and shall bind thee with them. And thou shalt not go out among them. Verse 26. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth that thou shalt be dumb. And shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. Okay, so in this particular scripture, the Most High was using the prophet Ezekiel to blow the trumpet. Okay, but certain people that uh, the Most High knew that he knew that uh, wouldn't listen, he made Ezekiel's tongue cleave to the roof of his mouth. So he couldn't talk. So he couldn't bring forth those words. Okay. Basically, he wasn't allowing Ezekiel to bring forth his words to swine's flesh, okay? To a rebellious people that is not going to listen anyway, all right? That shows you the control of the Most High, of his prophets. Verse 27, but when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth. See, I will open thy mouth. Not you. I'm going to open thy mouth. A lot of the times when we minister out there on the streets or to people, a lot of the times we don't recognize it, but the Most High actually puts words in our mouth that we that we're gonna that we didn't even think of bringing forth, and He's gonna make He's gonna put an anointing on on you, so they can feel that anointing and feel the presence of God when you minister to that person. Okay, but let me keep reading. It says, "But I'm saying 27 again." But when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth. And thou shalt say unto them, Thus says the Lord God, He that heareth, let him hear, and he that forbeareth, let him forbeareth. For they are a rebellious house. Okay. That's the God I serve, y'all. The God I serve will put a word in your mouth when you ask him. The God I serve, when you ask him of things, he's going to give it to you. Okay, and a lot of the times, the things that you ask for, you will you will be tested on. That 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 pre, that that same day, if you asking for meekness, he gonna test you on meekness. You know, this is how the God this is how God works. So, you know, I pray that you know this video kind of came with some understanding. It showed you the power of God. You know, I would suggest that you pray to the Most High and tell Him to put His words in your mouth. Okay? Ask Him. Okay? Because, you know, what does the scripture say? Um, ask and you shall receive, right? You know, you, you got you to ask. All right? So, you know, next time you minister to someone, tell the Most High and believe in it. Believe in it, you know. Go, go make a video, and don't even think about what you're gonna say, and just go on there and have that faith and walk in that faith that the Most High is gonna bring forth words in your mouth. That's the kind of faith I'm talking about. That's the kind of faith that actually moves my spirit, because that's 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 trusting in God, and that's trusting in His power and His authority. Okay, 
But, you know, I just wanted to, you know, bring this out. Um, I hope this encourages, encourages your walk. I hope this inspires you to, you know, walk in faith. You know, we walk by faith and not by, you know, we walk by faith and not by sight. And this is one of the areas how we do it. So, you know, I challenge you to uh, walk by faith and not by sight. And just to, you know, um, ask for these things. All right. So I want to give all glory and honor to the Most High, Ahaya, Bahashim Yeshaya, Rewak Wadash. So be it.